Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you're going to learn how to find out the memory usage for any process with Ruby. So the first thing you're going to need is the process ID. And the process I want to find out the memory usage for is the Ruby program itself. So the first thing is use this process class it comes with Ruby and then the PID method. So this stands for process ID and we can print the value and this is the process ID for the Ruby method that's running this code. And we can see changes every time we run the code. So what can we do? What can you do with this process ID? Well, in Linux, it is going to be specific to Linux and it might work on Mac as well. There is a command called PS, PS. And with this command, you can get a list of all of the processes, all of the programs running in your computer. You can filter this list using the process ID. And that's exactly what we want to do. Now, let me show you the command that we need. So we need these backticks, this right here. And then we need to put this inside string interpolation. And then we need the ps command. So it's going to be ps dash o for RSS. So RSS stands for resident set size. That's the actual memory usage for your process. Then we are going to say slash uh, dash dash PID for process ID. And that's where this string interpolation comes in and then we should be able to print this and there it is it's the RSS resident set size and that's the memory usage in kilobytes so we want to do some processing of this and parsing so we can actually get this number so one way to do that is we can split then we get an array with two values and we want this value. So let's do last. Now we get string and I want float. There we go. And finally, I want to divide this by 124. Why? Because this will give us the megabytes because it's easier to think about megabytes than kilobytes, right? So now we know that this Ruby program is using 9.6 megabytes of memory. That's what this does. Now we can try a few things to see how this increases. For example, we can try to Requires some jam. We can try requiring pry. Uh, let's uh, let's see how much memory pry uses. We see that we went up from the baseline that was a baseline of nine. We went up to twenty three. So we can see that pry uses about fourteen megabytes of memory, which is not much. We can also try creating some strings. Like let's create um, thousand strings or one hundred thousand strings, and let's do times map so we can create an array with these strings. And let's just make this a as the string, and we can see that this takes about five megabytes of memory to create all of these strings. And we can make this bigger if we want. Let's create one million strings. We can see that 
59 megabytes. So this can give you uh, an idea how much memory you are using. And why is that useful? Because memory is not unlimited, right? You have a set amount of memory to work with. These days we have a lot more memory because memory is more cheap, more accessible, but still there are limits to memory. So it's good to know that you're using your resources well. And this one way to check the memory usage of your Ruby process. And if you want to check the, mem the memory usage of another process, that's not Ruby itself, you just change this process ID for the process ID of that other process. And what is this doing? This actually calling the command. The PS command is running in your system and then it's returning the output. And as you have seen, we just do some parsing. Now, let me show you something else. What if you want to test, you want to find out the memory usage for a Rails application using this? Well, we can open a terminal and we can go into uh, Rails app and we can do the following. There's one way to do it. You can do Ruby dash R. So this we load um, a file, we require a file, and this environment requires Rails, it loads Rails. And then this is the same code that we have here. So if I run this, we see that after this Rails application is loaded, this how much memory is using. Notice only a baseline, right? This is loading your files and your classes and everything. This is how much is using as a baseline. Of course, it's going to be using more memory than this. As more users connect to your application and that generates new objects, and new objects need more memory. But this is a good baseline that you can use. So that's how you find out the memory usage for a process in Ruby. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. And if you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and visit my website, rubyguides.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.